Welcome back to Booth Briefs. I'm Matt. Hey, I'm Derek. Hey, and uh, we're on to a, uh, one of the, the staples. When someone says, I want a bourbon, everybody mm -hmm. thinks Woodford. It's, it's one of like, I don't know, four to six different ones that somebody would say. Wild I would Turkey, say more, Woodford. More people have had Woodford than any other. Be my guess. Okay. If they say that I've, yeah, I, I like bourbon. Cool. You've had Woodford? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. I think that's a true statement. Uh, so this one is not just a regular. No. This one is the. It doesn't see one oak. Two oaks. The Double Oak. Uh, it's actually. Double your pleasure, double your fun. Finished in a second oak barrel. How fun is that? So someone's got to transfer it mm -hmm. from one bunghole to another they, bunghole. They, they, take, they scoop it up in their hands and yes. just move it from barrel to barrel. And it's that's very it. efficient and very sanitary. Yes. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. Um, that's how you do things at scale. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting any younger. Asshole. Why aren't you pouring bourbon? So, how long have you had this one? Real cork. Uh oh. Three, four weeks. All right. All not, right. Not very long. It was on sale in North Carolina last, or in Wake County last month. Okay. So I've seen a couple of... It was uh, like $5 off, so I said, yep, I'll buy me one. I've seen uh, one of the groups we're in. They've done a single barrel of this, a barrel pick. I haven't had it, so I can I think they did two you. different ones, and they oh, described right. the different notes in there. I didn't buy them because I think they were 70 75 something like that. And this one, regular price in Raleigh, North Carolina, is fifty six ninety five. So this was $52. Okay. I'm, I can get by on that. Yeah. 45.2%. Uh, yeah. Finished in the second oak barrel. Bourbon finished in new, heavily toasted, lightly charred barrels. Let me read a little bit more about it from ye old website while you start so figuring out what's So the normal in there. Woodford is what, 35 bucks? Yeah, somewhere around there, yeah. around thirty-five bucks. I mean, I feel like that's where it should be. So, mm -hmm. that, I mean, I got to be right then. Duh. Yeah, you're not a man who's often wrong. <laughs> that sounded sarcastic. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> well, hey, ooh, good God, uh, that's got a lot going on in the nose. So yeah, uniquely matured in separate charred oak barrels. The second barrel, deeply toasted before a light charring, gives it soft, sweet oak character. Cherries. Rich notes of dark fruit, caramel, sharp honey, chocolate, ooh, marzipan, and oh. toasted oak. Taste, a full-bodied mix of vanilla, dark caramel, hazelnut, apple, fruit, and spices. Finish, long and creamy, with lingering hints of honeyed apple. Wow. I get cherry on the nose. Yeah. So, what this reminds me of is Old Forester 1920. The Old Forester, to me, has more of that chocolate cherry. But this is in the ballpark, but this is a little bit... What's the ABV on that? 45.2. That drink's hotter than what I thought yeah. it would. Where the Old Forester 1920, like, the flavors are all really deep and rich. This is more, like, a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter flavors than yeah. the 1920. I like that a lot. I mean, I, I don't know that I've ever... I was going to say, I don't know that I've ever had Woodford and been disappointed. You could drink a bottle that's 150 bucks and then have a glass of Woodford and go, man, that's that's good. Like, and that's Woodford's thing. Like, I've heard other people say that the way Woodford is made, they're not trying to go this way. They're trying to make a bourbon that pulls a little bit from, yeah. like, five different flavor families to make a well-rounded, approachable bourbon that might not be the collector's favorite. Yeah. But nobody's going to be upset by a bottle of Woodford. No, and, and I mean, I have a bottle of Woodford at home. I yeah. couldn't tell you when I bought it, but I've had it forever. <laughs> but it's just there. And I think if I'm going to make an old-fashioned, mm -hmm. I immediately, I don't care what restaurant I'm at, hey, I want an old-fashioned. What old-fashioned go with it? I want Woodford. Mm -hmm. They always have it. It's consistently good. Yep. You know exactly what you're getting, and it brings that level of sweetness and full-bodied roundness. Mm -hmm. I think that rounded is the best word to describe a Woodford product. It's not too hot. It's not too sweet. It's not too... There's no one note that really comes out and flicks you in the mm -hmm. back of the throat. You know, like, that doesn't make sense in 
really anything else except for bourbon. But yeah, I I feel like they do a good job of being consistently good. Yeah, and I think of the five that we've had on this table, this has the best texture to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I like that a bourbon that you almost kind of need to chew on a little bit. I like that style. It stays around. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a good mouth coating, but it's not a heated mouth coating. No, and I still get that cherry that you talk about. I, yep. I'm going back to their notes. Dark fruit, caramel, chocolate, oak. Chocolate, yeah. My mom's favorite candy is those chocolate cordials. The cherry cordials. Mm-hmm. With a little bit of the, the cherry syrup in it. Yep. That is that bottle to me. Okay. That's there's our candy reference. Hey, well done. Hey, we remember one sixth of the time. Yeah. Fifth. Do the math. Oh. <laughs> well, there's five bottles left. Well, I wasn't trying to be cute. <laughs> so, All right. Let's add a little water. Let's see what happens here. I don't think it's necessary. But, but no, I don't think so. But again, we are men of science. Follow the science. Follow the science. Follow us too. Subscribe here. Hit the like button. That'd be a good idea. You know, if I wanted to find out once a week at least what bourbon I should be drinking, mm -hmm. I'd probably subscribe because then you get notifications. Yep. Just about every Sunday. Not this Sunday because I, I messed up. Shoot. But by the time you're watching this video, it's not that Sunday that I messed up. You have to go back and figure out when did Derek mess up? Hmm. You can There's pick a day and you're probably right. But this thing that I'm talking <laughs> about, you figure out the week. Mm hmm Mmm. Still good. I think it takes a little bit of the heat away. It takes a little bit of the texture away too. But I think it opens up the flavors on the palate. I get more fruit. Yes. A lot more fruit. Mm -hmm. I, I lose a little bit of the. I lose the chocolate and the dark tannins. Yes, yeah, it's like honeyed apple. I, I start to get a little bit more of that. I don't know that I'd go apple because to me there's like a, a crispness that I associate with apple. Ooh, crispy. crispy. That I don't get here, but closer to honey. Yeah, uh, like a honeydew. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I like it neat, and I like that with a little bit of water. I think it'd be great over ice. Yeah. Um, I. I haven't been disappointed by a Woodford product yet. And let's keep that running. Hell yeah. Please. So they've got a rye. I've heard you like rye. Oh, I haven't had that. I've, I've, it's been a long time since I've had that. But you know what? I'd probably have to pick some up. Okay. I mean, if, if you guys would like that, tell us. Give us a thumbs up on this video if you'd like us to do the rye. B was just dive bombing us. 747 <laughs> rolled through here. <laughs> Uh, Score-wise, I'll okay. go first this time. I would give this a really good 86. So, here's where I'm mad at myself for giving this an 88. So I want to bump this down to about an 85. Uh-huh. I know that's what you said, but I want to bump this down. Yeah, see, so see, I was right. You, so. you were right, because I want to give this an 88. Okay, all right. Because this is my speed. Okay. This reminds me of some of the, the old Forester Whiskey Rose stuff that I like so much. Yeah. It's easier to find it's right at the same price yeah on a regular day when yeah. it's on sale for 52 it's, it's a few dollars cheaper than the 10 but 56 the I'm, I'm still gonna pay that for it yeah that's that's a tasty bourbon and i like i mean it's nice when you get the higher proof because there's more potential for flavor in those but it's nice sometimes especially if it's your second pour and you, you don't need 110 proof to get something that gives you a lot of good flavor at 90 proof yeah so i, I like that yeah, no, it's it's not um, it's not just a filler, right? It's it's got yeah, that's, that's it's got right. a portfolio behind it. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's a good bottle. Mm -hmm. I think we should try more Woodford stuff. Uh, that's the first Woodford Woodford we've done. It is, and uh, so we'll do the rye. I've got a bottle of the regular. Let's do that too. At my office. <laughs> You gotta have office bourbon. If you don't have office bourbon, what are you doing? I don't have office bourbon. I mean, I'm working from home this year, so technically... You do have I office have a, bourbon. I have a lot of office you, bourbon. You've got a stash. Um, check back with us. We're gonna be doing some um, some budget battles here. We have some requests for that. We may sprinkle them in. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, got some good stuff coming up. And then uh, we want to know what you want to see reviewed. We yep. found some stores or some honey holes where we can get some random off the wall stuff. So let us know what you want to see. Yeah. Uh, it'd be a surprise to us. We'll, we'll crack it on the show. We won't even try it before. We'll crack it on the show and see yeah. what it is. And, and don't come at us with the double eagle, double rare. We want to see that too. Yeah, but if you're going to give me $17,000, then yes, I will buy a bottle. <laughs> but you have to give me seventeen and and five seventeen thousand five dollars So that way, I at least make five bucks on the deal. <laughs> they got to cover shipping. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. True. Of, of the $17,000. Some kind of muling fee. Yeah. But uh, check back with us. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you'll know when the next video comes out. And uh, we'll be back to you quickly with more videos. Until next time, pour something good in your glass. Or pour something mediocre and just don't pour wooden bill. And we'll be good. <laughs> so, until next time. Cheers. Cheers.